So once we have done with this uh, bean, what we need is we need to create a JSP page using which I will send a name. So for that, you have to go to your web project. So this where is your web archive and this is your ad which is enterprise archive. So click on your where and go to your web pages. So you can see we'll be finding a HTML page. Uh, even we can use HTML here. So instead of creating JSP, we can go for HTML. So we'll use the provided inbuilt HTML. Let's say, let's remove all the extra tags just to make it simple. I hate this, all these HTML tags. I don't know why. So let's create a form tag. And in this form tag, what I will do is, I will call an action and we'll, we'll, we'll call a servlet and we'll name that servlet as my servlet and we'll ask a user to enter, enter your name, give a colon and we'll use a text box here. So we'll say input type text. Uh, we'll ask my name which is T1, that's it. And we'll provide a break here. Once uh, it is break, uh, we'll go for input type, next is submit, so we'll use submit here, and we'll give a value as, okay, or we'll use proper send. So once you click on send, it will call this servlet, which is my servlet. Simple. Now once done with this step, now we need to create a servlet. So I click on your project, and click on servlet, I uh, will give this servlet name as my servlet and package name will go for blank. We'll go for, click on next. I don't need to include into web.xml. I will go for annotation based servlet here. Let me remove all the extra things which is there just to make it more simple. I will even say, let me remove all this thing. Even this part, we'll, we'll, do, we'll, start, we'll start from scratch. So what will what we need is public void do get as we know that the object I'm, I'm the request I'm going for is get request. So the first thing HTTP server request will say req comma. Then next is HTTP servlet response. This is res. Okay. Now let's see what next. So once you got this, uh, you need a writer object. So for writer, what I will do is I will I know it's it will throw some errors. We'll say throws servlet exception comma IO exception. Okay. Now uh okay, we'll not go for throw so yeah, we'll go for try catch. That will be better because I'll be writing some code in which in which I'll be using try catch. So why not start with try catch only? Now in this try catch, what I need is first thing I need a catch also. We'll say catch exception e. Now so we have a try catch. So let's go with try. Uh, we print the catch statement which is e. Now in this try, first step is we need to create the object of print writer. So we'll say print writer out equal to res dot get writer. Next, uh, we'll print some data to the user. We'll say print ln and we'll say this is demo. Okay, so this is how we need to create a servlet, right? But hold on, are we done with our work? No, we have to achieve, we need to send that name to my JMS server. So in order to send that name to the JMS server, we need to add some statements. Now what exactly those statements are, that we'll see in the next part. But I hope you remember this thing, which is, if you remember this PPT, uh, so we, we, we need to achieve this step. We need to create a connection factory object. We need to create a connection object. Then we need to create this uh, session, message producer, and we have to send. Okay, so to achieve that, that we'll see in the next video.